The undefeated Chiefs go on the road to face the Tennessee Titans on Sunday. Kansas City is currently installed as a one-point favorite on BetDAC, 38.5, a very low total in this game. We mentioned Kansas City was undefeated. The Tennessee Titans also a surprise team. Titans currently sitting at 3-1. and one. So both these teams have been playing good football. Both these teams have been very good to their betters. These teams, a combined 6-1-1 one, one against the spread this season. So what's going to give here on Sunday? Now, the Chiefs have been a very popular public bet this week. This line has moved to three in a lot of sports books around the world and in Las Vegas. A lot of that has to do with the Titans quarterback situation. Tennessee's starting quarterback, Jake Locker, injured his shoulder last week. Locker will miss the next several games. And so former Buffalo Bills quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick will be making his first start in a Tennessee uniform on Sunday. And while in most cases I would agree with people that this isn't a good thing for a team that's on a roll like the Titans are, you know, losing their starting quarterback in the middle of the season, in this case, I think this actually might help the offense. For a couple of years, I thought the wrong quarterback was playing in Tennessee. Jake Locker has not been the best quarterback on this roster for the past two seasons. That was Matt Hasselbeck, and that was validated any time Hasselbeck was on the field. Now, I understand why Locker was playing, and the Titans aren't the only team in the NFL that does this type of thing. It's becoming standard practice in the NFL today when a quarterback is drafted in the first round, especially in the top half of the first round. That guy is put on the field. The team has invested too much in him. They want to see what they have. They want to give the, the guy an opportunity to develop. So we've seen several situations like this. Blaine Gabbert in Jacksonville comes to mind. Christian Ponder in Minnesota. Brandon Whedon in Cleveland. And there's been some situations like this that have worked out, like Robert Griffin III in Washington, Andrew Locke in Indianapolis. These guys were essentially handed the keys. They were essentially handed jobs. And in the case of Jake Locker and the Tennessee Titans, I'm not sure that's worked out so well for the Titans. So... Despite the fact that Locker was playing the best football of his young career this season, you know, Tennessee was still 29th in the NFL in total offense. I mean, the offense is still the weakness of this Titans team. They haven't shot themselves in the foot this season as often as they did last year, but they haven't been real good either. And I have a feeling with Ryan Fitzpatrick under center, you know, things ended badly for, Fitzpa for Fitzpatrick in Buffalo, but he had some good years there, some really good games. This guy's had a lot more NFL success than Jake Locker. And I have a feeling we're going to see Tennessee's offense open up a little bit now. Fitzpatrick can deliver the ball down the field more accurately than Locker. So you look at a guy like Kenny Britt, who's never been able to get going with Jake Locker under center. Now Britt's questionable for this game with a rib injury. But in the coming weeks, don't be surprised if Kenny Britt breaks out a little bit and becomes that receiver people thought he was going to be a couple of years ago. Again, I, I think it might not be a bad thing at all that Ryan Fitzpatrick starting at quarterback in this game for the Tennessee Titans. So the very thing that is driving a lot of people away from Tennessee is sort of pushing me towards them in this spot. Another reason I have a Tennessee lean here is I feel like the Kansas City Chiefs are overvalued. Yes, they're 4-0. Who have they beaten? They haven't beaten anybody. No good teams. The Chiefs have beaten the Jacksonville Jaguars, the worst team in the league. The Giants, probably the second worst team in the league. They beat the Philadelphia Eagles, who we have now found out are a bad team. And their best win of the season has been a one-point home win over the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Dallas is a 500 team, so how good a win was that really? Chiefs are going on the road in this game against a legitimate good team, a team that, is playing, a team that has been playing good football. Tennessee's been playing especially well on the defensive side of the ball, 11th in the NFL in yards allowed, and Kansas City does not have an explosive offense. So I do expect a low-scoring game here. When you see a total like 38.5, I'm obviously not the only person that expects a low-scoring game. But I expect an ugly low-scoring game, and I think Tennessee is going to win this game. I have a strong lean towards the Titans here. This will be one of my best bets of the weekend.